This is the most disturbing cults on the internet. Ooh, spooky! questions Jeff and his reply was how dare you question your god they had to change their name to a male name they had to get their hair cut they had to basically transition into being a man the LGBTQ cult <gasps> The cult of the left? Even though they were a heterosexual woman. They would say, like, cut off your family because you need to work on yourself. You have to die to your family in order to save them. I am- I would do that. I would die for my family to save them. God! When people are feeling alone, they seek the comfort of a community. And some people get so desperate for connection that they'll do anything to get it. it simply would not be me. The problem I have with internet cults specifically is they're so goofy they're so low iq coded it's hard for me to have any empathy and you'll see what i mean i haven't watched this video yet but i i'm aware of some of the internet cults such as twin flames like give me a break bro even if it means trapping themselves inside a place that they can't escape a cult we'll talk about some of the wildest cults on the internet starting from the tamest to the most disturbing ones my name is visual venture hope you guys have a beautiful day that's not your name come on now twin flames universe oh the third eye how, how did i know Everyone around the world wants to find their one true love, which is why when a cult emerged promising that they could find a soulmate, it quickly became one of the fastest growing cults in the world. Established in the early 2010s, the Twin Flames universe had one major promise to its followers. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing at the visuals, chat. Wikipedia, Twin Flames universe. It would help them find their soulmate, no matter what it took. The idea is that twin flames are two people believed to share the same soul split into two bodies. The highlight <laughs> sound effect was not in sync with the digital highlight edit. It's creating a deep and intense connection. Their relationship helps them grow and achieve a higher purpose together. Here's a fun statistic for you. Generally, for the vast super majority- Imagine following ugly people. That would never be me. <laughs> of people on the planet. If you just listen to our information <laughs> and you genuinely do it and you don't know your twin flame, uh, it should take you a week to get into harmonious union. A really chill week. <laughs> These are the founders. <laughs> Jeff Divine and Shalia Divine, a married couple and so-called twin flames. The two met each other online back in 2012 and started dating shortly after. They were both very deep and shared views on intimacy, romance, and of course... Yo, he was Philion maxing. What the hell, is that me? Twin flames. They both believe that everyone has a true love, which was decided for them by the universe. In 2014, the couple started making... You what happened, bro? Why did you cut off the locks? YouTube videos together talking about their views on Twin Flames and soon it built a subscriber base of like my- Chat, this is what I'm gonna look like if I, if I cut my hair. And people still have the audacity. Cut your hair, Filion. Get a more conservative haircut. What are you, my mom? And individuals who agreed with everything they believed in. With a rapid growth, Jeff and Shalia transitioned from making- They look polyamorous, that's all I'm gonna say. I can smell them through the screen. Videos to building an actual community. So in 2007, they founded- First of all, uh, you put 2017 on the screen, bud, and said 2007. And they founded Twin Flames Universe and offered online classes to their fans called the Twin Flame Ascension Course. These were all paid classes helping anyone who would join to find their soulmate. I need to sell courses, bro. I need to sell courses. AKA their Twin Flame. As of 2024, the course starts at three. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's even more than Iman Godzi, bro. Look at those angel numbers doing the heavy lifting. $3,333, which includes over 100 classes that are all 90 minutes long. Or if you wanted the everything package, you would only need to drop 8,000. This just doesn't even make sense, bro. $888 for a more personalized experience. For some, the money seemed worth it to find their soul. Who? Who? 
paid that price. Maybe, but the true price was about to be revealed. In the Twin Flames universe, the main belief is simple. Each person only has one true soulmate. And regardless of what stands in the way, that person will never change. Even if that person was in a relationship, married, or of a different sexuality. The main issue with this group is that they would do anything to be with their twin flame. And the only people making that decision is none other than the cult leaders. So questioning them was not an option. I questioned. Bro, they want to be Keith Rainier so bad. They want to be Nixium so bad. Jeff and his reply was, how dare you question your God? But the reality was the twin flames were- Who is trusting this man, bro? Who? Look at the- Are you kidding me? Bro hasn't slept in nine years. He's got bug eye physiognomy. Twin flames weren't restricted to members only. Some cult members got assigned soulmates to- With the American Eagle drip, bro. You can't make this up. People outside of the group who knew nothing about the Twin Flames universe. Many of them had their own relationships, families, and life goals. This belief is dangerous because Twin Flames members have- <laughs> Look at him in his new Corvette, dude. He's cool. He's chilling. He's winning. Done harmful things in their search for true love. All while under the guidance of Jeff and- Ch Why did he cut his hair? <laughs> To Leah Divine. He can at least pull off cult leader w w with this look he's got going on. On November 2nd, 2016, a Reddit user posted a thread on the r slash relationships forum. The title was my friend 23F is being stalked by someone who is part of the cyber cult twin flames theory 36M and he started posting worrying YouTube videos. In the post, he talks about how his friend, a 23 year old woman, was the target of an obsessive love by a twin flames member. She was unnamed in the post but for the sake of clarity let's call her leah it's okay leah nice to meet you third eye investigates here to solve your case two of them met when she was 14 years younger than him he was 30 at the time jesus christ bro why is it never just normal why is it always coded in sin but despite the age gap they met up a few times casually making it apparent that he wanted much more eventually leah stopped seeing him all together feeling uncomfortable of his intentions and for the next where's your mother and father six years they talked occasionally and took on completely different paths of life but despite how distant she was he never stopped obsessing over her and it still got worse he documented his one-sided love for her on his youtube channel where he would post concerning videos many of them talked about how he had a god-given right to be with her despite her clearly not feeling the same in the reddit post it's also said that he would turn up at her house in the middle of the night uninvited six months later the user posted an update and it wasn't good news the update started with the user telling everyone that the police had since been are we really gonna trust reddit posts is that where we're at contacted but no action was taken the twin flames member was arrested for only a short time but then was released despite there being a ton of evidence to keep him behind bars he continued to post creepy videos talking about his love for leah but this time he took it up a notch the uploads got more frequent and some days he even uploaded two videos that were as long as is he talking about the leader or is he talking about a random member of Twin Flames? 20 minutes. He even made videos about his arrest, crying to the camera, stating how devastated he was about the situation. However, in the video, he also said that he forgave Leah for what she did and there was nowhere in the world she could hide for long. But things really reached the tipping point when he uploaded a video of himself in his car, clearly mentally unstable, talking about his past life. He claimed that he did very harmful things to people in the past and referred Leah in the video. The video was taken as evidence to the police and the entire situation had to be settled in court where a restraining order was eventually issued. Despite how terrifying this was, the Twin Flames universe was far from over. This is just some fucking guy with his polycell girlfriend in their living room grifting people on the internet. What? Uh, calling them a cult is, is, is doing so much heavy lifting for them. That's, that's legitimized, le I can't speak. That's legitimizing them in such a way that they don't deserve. Fair. In the world of twin- Call it what they, what they Despite are. Despite how terrifying. Okay? Clowns, bozos, idiots. And this was the Twin Flames universe was a cult gives them way too much aura far from over in the world of Twin Flame stalking isn't seen as creepy it's seen as the process of you're my twin flame you're my twin flame pick up your phone come outside baby girl please 
Please, you're my twin flame. Of getting true love. Not only do the members of the twin flames push boundaries, but so do its cult leaders. In 2019, the twin flames universe was business as usual. Jeff and Shalia had evolved from pairing cult members with random people to now those only within the group. But that didn't mean problems in matchmaking disappeared. Together, Jeff and Shalia created 20 twin flame pairings for members of the cult, some of which were between straight women. Although some of them weren't attracted to the same gender, the leaders still believed that their pairings were accurate. <laughs> uh, you're gay now. No, nah, trust me. Nah, you're gay. I know it. That's your twin flame. Yeah, I know you like men, but now you're gay. However, this wasn't the issue. It said that in the twin flames universe, each pairing must have a divine masculine and a divine feminine member, which wasn't the case for some of these pairings. So, How do people fall for this, dude? You'll get people defending it, not defending it, but justifying it by saying, the need for community. These people are being exploited. Chat, I've, I've researched a lot of these cults. At the end of the day, it is a pass or fail test, okay? It is 100% a skill issue. There's, there's no other way. There's no other way. Imagine paying $8,888 just to be told to get, just to be told that you're gay by pseudo Jesus and his fat girlfriend. Jeff and Shalia proposed a different solution, forcing one of them to become the divine masculine. They had to change their name to a male name. They had to get their hair cut. They had to basically transition into being a man, even though they were a heterosexual woman. While some of the members decided to just- was this R9K and Rico? They're transmaxing. Leave other state and follow the leader's suggestions. One of those members- That's a lot of money to, to pay to find out that you're gay. <laughs> members was Anne. She claimed that Jeff and Shalia pushed her to change her name to Dan, since she was supposed to be the divine- I'm Dan now. <laughs> masculine flame and some didn't just change their appearance physically at least three of the members did medically get the fuck out of here bro also despite all the controversy the twin flames universe remains active today and there are still people on youtube that praise their teachings while some members of this cult made serious sacrifices in order to join the next cult you must surrender your entire life love has won born on november 30th love has won do i know this one is this the uh hippie lady that loves unicorns that like died and turned blue in a sarcophagus 1975 amy carlson was the picture perfect daughter growing up she was a straight a student and was a member of her school's choir although she was living between two broken homes amy still seemed to have a bright future but it all started to change in the early 2000s when amy started developing a new interest one in new age philosophy amy started being active in new age religious forums and she eventually found a favorite lightworkers.org and lightworkers.org She's picking the paladin tree. And when she did, her life changed forever. On lightworkers.org, Amy met an online friend, Robert Saltz. This shit looks so stupid, bro. It looks so bad. From a graphic design perspective, everyone's trying to copy Heaven's Gate with these new age, Y2K, early 2000s aesthetics, this hippie bullshit, but it comes up short every single time. You will never be Marshall Applewhite. Gave her, or better known by his internet alias, Amaranth White Eagle. The two Amaranth White Eagle soon grew close and developed a unique relationship. Robert saw her as something that wasn't even human to him. Amy was a divine. Welcome to Diddy's Gate. Divine being, but not just any divine being. She was the creator of the universe. With the help of Robert, Amy started to believe that she was a 19 billion year old spiritual being that had birthed all of the universe's creation. Why is this taken seriously at all? It really hit me when I was watching Netflix with my woman, with my trad wife, and she's like, I can't watch this because these people are, are literally head empties. They're so stupid and then and then it hit me because i was getting psyoped by netflix with my mouth open soy facing at the tv new cult documentary and then i was like wow these people are actually just dumb as shit he incarnated 534 times as notable religious and historic like, it's the same it's on the same level of spirituality of like me watching coco melon on repeat like me watching baby shark like me watching roblox uh subway surfer montages like that's that's what this 
That's what watching this feels like. Historical figures like Jesus, Cleopatra, and even Marilyn Monroe. From there, things moved quickly. Amy wasted no time in embracing her new so-called identity. She abandoned everything in her life, including her husband, children, and her job as a McDonald's manager. Like these people have to exist to like balance the IQ bell curve. <laughs> Not everybody can be a midwit, or better yet, a top wit. Leaving everything behind, she joined Robert for a new life in Colorado. Together, they founded the Galactic Federation of Light, or what we know today as Love Has Won. Our guest today calls herself Mother God. She chat. Yo, chat. I wasn't familiar with Mother's Game. Hold on, she might be onto something. Mother God. Mother of God. God, holy shit, wow. God. She is a leader of an organization called Love Has Won. Officially found- Yeah, Love Has Won. I think I'm starting to speak light language. Founded sometime in 2006, Love is One started out as a way for Robert and Amy to share their new age philosophies with the world. The two posted their first YouTube video about the group and it's- <gasps> beliefs in 2009 and quickly went from love has milk <laughs> holy shit two lovers to cult leaders the youtube videos picked up a decent amount of tra chat christ is lord stay focused thou shall not goon traction on the platform and became amy and robert's main way of recruiting new members in these videos amy took on the role of mother we must stay focused brothers mother god and portrayed herself as a divine being that was capable of miracles some miracles included curing cancer and other terminal illnesses this drew a lot of people in robert was father god at least at first but over the years amy would have several other father gods replacing them as issues arose dad God. One of the most prominent ones being Jason Castillo, a convicted felon with a lengthy criminal record. <laughs> what? <Game>. Amy. <laughs> Yo, can we make that a sound bite when somebody donates? Holy shit. Felon with a lengthy criminal record. Amy would offer etheric surgery priced at $88 per session. In these sessions, Amy claimed that she was able to remove sickness and negative energy from the body through just one simple phone call. And we like to say to the YouTubers, we are doing brain surgeries, organ repair. But in reality, this is like Nether Beast's hippie wife. She couldn't heal anyone. In fact, she couldn't even heal herself, but we'll get back to that. As the cult grew in numbers, they also started releasing more content. Amy and other members started to do daily live streams. On oh my God, I can't even do daily live streams. I'm getting mogged by mother God. I, I I need to tap into the schizo energy chat. A platform. They spend their time bringing in donations via live stream, selling new age merchandise. They're literally working harder than me, bro. They are bag maxing better than I am. And attending to Carlson's every need. It said that Love is One was able to cultivate a community of around 100 to 200 members. As Mother God, Amy was supposedly going to be the one to lead 144,000 people to. That's the Jehovah's Witness trope. 144K are allowed into heaven. You think I don't know this? Come on now. To ascension, which will take them from this current world to a mystical fifth dimension. Although many of the cult members were scattered worldwide, connecting through Facebook and Skype, the core group stayed together in one location. They moved between states like Florida, California, Oregon, and Colorado, renting places to use as their cult base. There were around 12 to 20 Love is One members that were at the forefront of everything. They were the stars of the live stream, were Amy's favorites, and were seen as bro imagine the smell dude the group's core members they called amy their mom and treated her 
144,000 YouTube subscribers and you get a play button. Not just like a leader, but also a parental figure. Eventually, Amy, Robert, and the core members settled into a permanent residence in Crestone, Colorado. The house had been purchased by one of the members for $63,000 and became the base of the cult's operations. The members, like Amy herself, threw away their lives to move here and devoted all their time and energy into the cult and its growth. One of these members was an unnamed man who we'll call Ryan for now. Ryan! Nice to meet you, bud. Ryan's story really brought to light just how wicked Love is One's operations were at their home base. His sister, Amanda Ray, told the Denver Post all about what had happened in a tell-all interview. Ryan was living the American dream. He had a loving wife, two kids, and a six-figure job in Mississippi. Oh, oh, he's a giga chad. He and his family lived six-figure income in Mississippi? Bro's a millionaire! In a $500,000 home. But Ryan would soon land himself in a spiral after the stay at home crisis. He always had some interest. The things men will do for some hip pussy. That is 100% true. Interesting opinions, particularly when it came to topics like conspiracy. They're all chasing that cold pussy. He had just lost his job and was unsure of what the future was going to hold. He was afraid of his next steps and felt more alone than ever. So when he stumbled upon Amy and Love as One, who also aligned with his beliefs, he finally felt seen. Ryan signed up for Amy's etheric surgery sessions where he started falling into the clutches. What is etheric mean of the cult through these sessions he became a devoted follower of amy and started to see her as the mother god that the cult was claiming her to be he would eventually give her and the cult over fifteen thousand dollars in donations and payments for sessions soon after attending these sessions he was a whale and ran's behavior at home drastically changed he no longer slept he started dressing differently and act it's not a word did like a completely different person all clear signs that he started his transition into becoming a love a woman as one cult member like most cults love as one had a strict set of rules that each member had to follow this included limiting the amount of sleep that they had to just four to five hours a day <laughs> they're grinders bro i respect it i respect the hustle having a specific diet and only wearing the clothes that the cult approved after all of these changes ryan had become unrecognizable to his family and friends his behavior was so concerning that his wife Ariane even sent their kids away for fear that he would negatively influence them but that wasn't all in may 2020 Ariane and ryan were finishing up a couple's therapy session but instead of following his wife's car to go home ryan took his car in the complete opposite direction that is the funniest animation I've ever seen in my life. Following his wife's car to go home, Ryan took his car in the complete opposite direction. His wife followed his car all the way to his destination, which to her shock was the airport. The reason? Ryan wanted to join the rest of the Love is One members in Colorado. He left his wife with some chilling final words. Mother God has called me home. Unable to stop him. He just wants some milk. Ryan's friends and family let him be. Yeah, that's not accurate. The woman would have already crashed by now. <laughs> Uh... They began watching Amy's YouTube live streams in hopes of catching a glimpse of Ryan. And for the first day after his departure, they saw him. But the next the mommy milkers are calling me. Next day, he wasn't there anymore. His wife and sister began to worry, especially considering that cult members on the stream were saying things about how a new member's energy wasn't right and that he was on the wrong side of the mountain. Speculating that things had gone wrong, his loved ones called the local police in Colorado. Honey. The milk is calling. Oh. The next day, their suspicion would be confirmed. Ryan was found by the authorities wandering in the wilderness, alone, borderline delirious. He burned his eyes from staring at the sun too intensely and was covered in leaves and cactus needles. <laughs> what? <sighs> what Looney Tunes situation did they find this guy in? Burnt out his retinas covered in cacti needles and leaves. His cult members abandoned him with nowhere to go in Colorado. Before his family could make it to him, Ryan signed the paperwork to get himself discharged from the hospital. He was eventually found underneath a bridge in his hospital gown, claiming that he had ascended after doing what Mother God had told him to do. He's still recovering to this day. Love is one soon began falling. Some people, man, I just... If you can be convinced 
to stare at the sun. You're just a very special person. ...apart after some members came to the realization they were ultimately being brainwashed. Many former members of the group have come out to speak about their experiences and they all said similar things. Amy was manipulative, hypocritical, and made their lives a living hell. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of mental manipulation, a lot of brainwash. She only lets us sleep four hours. We have to wake up every day at 5 a.m. We start live stream at 6. Dude, I wish. Imagine. Bro, I'd be in my Nissan GTR already. I would have zero debt. <laughs> I need to be waking up at 5 a.m. starting stream at 6. Chat, if you don't hold me accountable, oh, I'm gonna be real pissed. Everything is revolved around Amy. Amy's true colors also became much more apparent. Although the cult had a strict no drinking and no substances policy, Amy didn't follow that herself. Oh, and they're based? In fact, she was an avid drinker and this soon oh. <laughs> started to affect not just her behavior, but her health. Amy, at that point in time, was definitely one of the most brilliant, insightful people I've ever met. You are gooning to the milk, bud. I don't know how to tell you. But to have it all changed after dinner, she could drink like I've never seen before. After all the drinks, Amy would become the complete opposite of what her followers had grown to love about her. She was yeah, it's a peak simp behavior. Angry, mean-spirited, and nothing like the mother god that love has won knew. You Eventually, all of it would start to take a toll on her. She got extremely ill. As someone who claimed she could heal others with just one phone call, she couldn't do the same for herself. In May 2021, she passed. But that didn't mean that her followers left. Colorado police visited the home days after to- Bro, she was like, purple. <laughs> Watch, they're about to, it's uh, truly a beautiful window into my brain, how I just have all this random esoteric, not important knowledge that I could just whip out. It kind of makes me the perfect streamer. To find that her body was still in the cult house, wrapped like a mummy covered in glitter and Christmas lights. Love is One was unmistakably a cult. However, some cults are much harder to spot, even if they're hiding in plain sight. 7M Films. 7M Films. Is this the dancing one? Is this the uh, dancers? You're gonna be a star, kid. Founded in 2021, 7M Films is a Los Angeles-based talent management company. Recently, the company has focused on TikTok, signing several big-name influencers into their roster. On their website, which doesn't have much information- I'm literally just too cracked. 7M Films claims to have increased the collective social media following of their clients from 1.8 million to 10.4 million. But other than that, nothing else is known about the company, which is probably a strategic move on their part. <sighs> Uh, bro just went on Netflix and looked up the, the cults and then made a 10 minute summary of each one. Considering the dark story behind its origins. 7M Films isn't just a talent management company. It was tied to a cult, the Shekinah Church. According to their website, Shekinah Church's primary goal is to save 1 billion souls by sharing their faith with the world. But to do this, they aim to aggressively train God's people, which they took too far. The founder and pastor of Shekinah Church is Robert Shin. He's also the creator of 7M Films. It's said that he started 7M Films after his son, a videographer, named Isaiah Shin started doing work in the influencer industry. Really? He just uh, stole his son's swag? Through his son's connections and using platforms like TikTok, Robert and his team at Jekina Church were able to recruit several up-and-coming influencers to join the company, particularly dancers, with one of the most famous being Miranda Derrick. But soon, the true origins of 7M Films came to light after Miranda's family posted an Instagram video in March 2022 begging for help to bring Miranda back from the darkness that was set. I don't know what I'm about to describe, and it's probably a symptom of being like a sociopath, but I do not like feel that this is real. <laughs> like I see all these people like on, on like the Instagram chat, you know, on, in the description, in the comment section. I, I'm so far away. Yeah, I'm privileged, I guess. That like this is just not real to me. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, be I don't believe this <laughs> like i know i know it happened i'm looking at the proof of it but i can't comprehend that it did happen they're npcs they, they're npcs to me i guess that's it and i know that's pretty anti-human but i i can't help but feel that way 7m films this is so real this is 
it doesn't, yeah. We just want Miranda back. And don't know what to do. Miranda Derrick, born Miranda Wilking, is an in- Bro, if my, if my daughter got recruited by 7M, like, you've seen Taken, you've seen John Wick, right? You've seen the Bourne trilogy. Are, are these people twiddling their thumbs, sitting on their ass, huh? Influencer with over 1.6 million followers on Instagram. She blew up on the internet through dance videos on a joint TikTok. These are the people that you hear about that don't have inner monologues. <laughs> account with her sister, Melanie. They now post separately with Melanie rebranding their old account, which has 3.7 million followers. Like many up and coming influencers, Miranda knew that to continue on her path to stardom, she needed proper representation. So she enlisted the help of 7M Films in 2021 and joined their talent management company. This is where everything started to fall apart. At first, things seemed pretty normal, but over time, Miranda started distancing herself from her family and eventually she cut them off. I don't understand what these people need help with. Filming better dances? Getting brand deals? Like, is this not self-intuitive? You can't figure it out? You need an agency. Gotta be taken seriously in the film industry. Completely. She became heavily involved in the church, similar to other 7M dancers. But Miranda's family went over a year without hearing a word from her. Miranda even got married to fellow 7M dancer James Derrick without telling her family. They started to fear that 7M Films was the reason for this. Miranda also didn't come to the funeral of her own grandfather and ended up blocking her sister on social media altogether. Distraught and not sure what to do, Miranda's sister Melanie turned to her thousands of Instagram followers. She and her parents went on Instagram Live to address the situation, asking the public to help bring Miranda back home and sending a message to her sister via the stream. They buy subscribers to boost their standing and get more money? That seemed, yeah. I could totally see that being the case. They also issued a warning to the other dancers on TikTok about 7M Films. Clips of this live stream quickly went viral and the media started digging into the roots of 7M. Mel Epidemic sound. Yes, I love recognizing dark melodic melodies from Epidemic Sound, my favorite royalty-free music library. Woo! Melanie had also started working together do, 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 do. with Kaylee Paulson, who was an investigative influencer that was searching for the truth behind the company. 7M's ties to Shekinah Church were soon revealed, and they made a statement on March 25th, 2022. There, they said that although Robert Shin was a pastor at Shekinah Church, there were no affiliations between the company and the church, which was not true. Following this news, see, you get the, the you get these random bullshit church spinoffs it, it's easier to uh be sus you know what i'm saying but philly on the catholic church the former shekinah church member why do i just not trust any bullshit spinoff church i just don't like i like, who are you where is your central body of governance Who's holding you accountable? But Lydia Chung also took- This is Yakubian DLC. Took this as an opportunity to tell her story. In 2009, Lydia had attempted to sue the church and Robert for fraud, but was unsuccessful. She claimed that she's been swindled out of nearly $4 million, both in property and personal funds. People have always been this stupid. We just, we just get to watch it online now, rotting our brains. That's a good point. That's a very good point. I didn't think about that. There have always been people this dumb. However, we're just being exposed to it in mass. During her time at the church, which was from 1996 until- How do I join the Church of Crystal Mommies? Until 2008. She also confirmed the allegations that 7M Films and the church were connected and also openly called the organization- Spin-off churches are private lobbies with mods on. That is so true. A cult. Lydia also gave further insight on how 7M Films works behind the scenes. She claimed that the company used popular influencers like Miranda as a way to infiltrate the entertainment industry. She also claimed that Robert tried to enter the American entertainment market years ago with little success, and that 7M Films' sole goal was to help Robert achieve his dreams of mass influence in the industry. Other Shekinah Church members also came forward echoing what sort of villain arc is this? 
I must infiltrate the American entertainment industry. What are you trying to prove, bro? Following Lydia's claims, they said that Robert Shin had brainwashed them and used isolation and intimidation tactics to keep them under his control. Allegedly, the same thing happened at 7M Films. The company required all of its signed talent to completely cut ties with their family, which would explain why Miranda, someone who was so close to her family, just suddenly stopped speaking to them. Who is this content for? <laughs> oh my god, just dancing in, in, pu in public vestibules. For who? Who's eating this slop? Other investigative Instagram accounts soon popped up, like at exposing 7M. They were able to find evidence from other 7M dancers that also seemed to confirm the allegations. After all this controversy, Miranda asked- Yes, another epidemic sound banger. I used this one at the beginning of the steak of the steak video I made. Actually made a statement denying all the claims that she was involved in a cult. She also claimed that she was going to meet up with her Wait, wait till the violin kicks in. Family. Yet soon after, she left town completely and didn't meet up with them. But the statement wasn't going to be enough to close the floodgates that were now being opened. More Shekinah church members opened up to news outlets. Business Insider got an exclusive interview with 10 former members who told them that they were brainwashed while in the cult. Allegedly, Robert maintained complete control over members' lives. He had access to some of their personal bank accounts. For one married couple in the cult, Robert was only giving them $15 a week as- Yeah, here's your weekly allowance, kid. $15 a week? Bro, my kava bowl is like $17 allowance using their own money. The members also recalled being unable to- How are you this fucking dumb, bro? I, I can't, I can't. To celebrate any family birthdays or events as they had to sever all family ties to better serve God. Some were even forced to get new names as a symbol of abandoning their past lives. And Robert was able to convince Shekinah and 7M members to do this by guilt tripping them. He claimed that if they didn't cut off familial contact- Why didn't they like, I don't know, start a revolution? and swarm him. You have like 20 able-bodied fit athletic dancers and you're just listening to this absolute hooligan, this fool. Then their loved ones wouldn't be- I got their whole week on my wrist right now. <laughs> able to join them in heaven. They would say like, cut off your family because you need to work on yourself. You have to die to your family in order to save them. Some were also pushed to live in group homes with other cult members and give away all their possessions to more senior members of the church. 20% of their salaries went back to Chicago. Oh, they believe in tithing. They must pay their tithe. And an additional 10% was given to Robert himself. And when members started their new job, the entire first paycheck had to be given to Robert so that he could bless it and make them more fruitful. An unnamed mother of a 7M dancer also told Insider that when her son joined the company, he started talking to her differently before dropping contact altogether. But the way he was typing, she seemed to believe that someone else was writing the messages for him. 7M Films and Shekinah Church have no. all denied these Shekinah Church. Even with How would I have known that Shekinah Church would scam me? Netflix's new documentary bringing the issue into the spotlight. Miranda still denies cult allegations. She remains with 7M Films and talks to her family occasionally, but only if they don't ask her about her involvement with 7M or the church. This next cult is absurd. It's led by a convicted criminal. Oh, what's the name of it? Let's see. University of Cosmic Intelligence. I'm in over my head. I don't understand how people fall for it. University of Cosmic Intelligence. I opened this YouTube channel for this University of Cosmic Intelligence. Starting today, this is only for the- I believe him. I don't know about you, chat, but I, I believe him. Fifth dimensional beings, those beings who are still stuck on the third dimension, this channel might not be for you. This is Rashad Jamal, an author and rapper from Atlanta, Georgia. Yo. Most notably, he's a self-proclaimed prophet and the leader of the infamous cult, the University of Cosmic Intelligence. How many members, chat? Three. Rashad posted his first video called Divine Insight Introduction Video on his YouTube channel on September 1st, 2020. Since then, the channel gained over 200,000 subscribers with thousands more followers. He's just copying nature, boy, but I'm not sure if you guys would know who I'm talking about. It's a heater. It's a heater. It'll come out one day by your boy. Or as on other platforms. To join the University of Cosmic Intelligence, all people have- Ooh, the gold package. 
for $33.69. <laughs> to do is purchase one of the three packages outlined on the group's website. The gold package is the cheapest option priced at $33.69 per month. The violet package is the priciest at $333.33. They always do this shit. It's angel numbers. If you're a hippie girl or like a room temperature IQ chud, and you see angel numbers, it like it like bypasses the mainframe in your brain and is like, oh, oh, it must be real. Packages give followers access to Rashad's daily live lectures where he talks about the group's beliefs and stances on the modern world. These are some beliefs that the University of Cosmic Intelligence has. Certain NBA players are robots, government officials are reptilian shapeshifters, and that the weather is controlled by the government to control alternate dimensions. There she go right there, Mariana Williamson, okay? A lot of these politicians, and she is a reptilian shapeshifter, okay? But undoubtedly, the most well well-known belief that the group has is on certain ethnicities. The group Here we go. Schizo ranting, gem maxing. Now let's get in to the racism. The group, unlike some of the others we've talked about, has a very specific demographic, black and Latino people. That's because the leader Rashad claims that those ethnicities are what he calls carbonated beings, which you're, you're, oh, now you're actually copying nature boy or carbonation. Please, please don't, don't make me spill my beans. Okay, my script on Nature Boy for this slop video, okay? Which are spiritually enlightened beings that have been handpicked by God. In short, they were gods and goddesses. You know who that is? That's us, your ancestors. This is our black and Latino. That's literally me. Latinos originally look. Our pigmentations were either a blue like this, which they showed you on Avatar. You see the Kundalini energy, third eye pineal gland. Yeah, that's me. Very powerful energy. Kundalini. Although Rashad built a community of loyal followers. Once again, chat, Rashad Jamal is copying Nature Boy, who is a convicted cult leader who is now in jail, who led a cult that fled to Costa Rica, Panama, and various Central American countries a couple years ago. It is literally a one-for-one -one copy or a spin-off of such. It's just that Nature Boy was a lot more successful. Followers, many of them didn't know his dark secrets. In 2023, Rashad Jamal was convicted on charges related to his ex-girlfriend's son. Charges so bad that we can't talk about it on YouTube. According to court documents, a Georgia judge gave him a sentence of 18 years in prison with an additional 22 years on probation. But while this arrest opened the eyes for some cult members, some others felt even more compelled to support their leader. A petition was created titled Justice for Rashad Jamal with 1,261 signatures out of their 15,000 goal. Although Rashad's charges were disturbing, many of his followers supported his release. His social media comments were flooded with support from University of Cosmic Intelligence followers who still practice what he preaches even while he's behind bars. And some- It's the same thing as Elysium Bishop, bro. Much more than others. In August of 2023, the public was shocked when this news headline went viral. Six people across the United States, including two three-year-olds, had gone missing. The common denominator, they were all tied to Rashad Jamal and the University of Cosmic Intelligence. Among the six are 25-year-old Michaela Wickerson and her three-year-old daughter Malaya from St. Louis, Missouri. They had been distancing from their family prior to their disappearance. According to information supplied by Michaela's mother, Michaela- yeah, He's a copycat cult leader, bro. I don't respect it. Had been showing signs of concerning behavior for months leading up to- Why is everyone's name Michaela, bro? This. At the time, her mother didn't think too much about it, assuming that it was just a- And this is anti-Yakubian propaganda. We know who our Lord and Savior is. Temporary spiritual journey that her daughter was embarking on. Michaela and her daughter had been family people for a long time, but out of the blue, Michaela stopped coming around and pushed her family members away. Michaela lived on her own and was always an independent person. Really? That was her house? Pushed her family members away. Michaela- She had this- this beautiful Americana fucking colonial style house <laughs> worth like 1.4 million in North Carolina. Lived on her own and was always an independent person, so it wasn't a cause for concern, but this time they were wrong. In late 2022, Michaela stopped contacting her family almost completely. Her and her daughter lived a 30 minute drive away from the rest of the family in a house in Berkeley, Missouri. During this period of no contact, Michaela became a devoted member of the University of Cosmic Intelligence. For months, Michaela and her daughter remained in their 
own little bubble with Michaela spending most of her time talking to the other cult members online. But what really marked the start of Michaela's downfall was when she quit her job in March, 2023. After, oh. after this happened, Michaela's boss mm. called her mother to inform mm. her about the news, which triggered a confrontation with her daughter. Michaela brushed off all the questions, claiming that she was going to start her own business. But her mother wasn't- I am so lost in the sauce right now. We are following the story of a person that I could literally care less about. Convinced. So she stopped by Michaela's house unannounced to check up on her. There, she saw a bunch of people she didn't recognize. Michaela's neighbors noted that these people had been at her house for a while now, and they were often seen meditating outside in the backyard in broad daylight. It's speculated that these are other members of the- <laughs> Look at the fat animation. <laughs> uh, look at the plus size inclusive. Um, Sprite. University of Cosmic Intelligence and also the other missing people in the case. And in August, 2023, just four months after she quit her job, Michaela and her daughter disappeared along with four other members of the cult. It's said that they were last spotted at a quality inn near St. Louis, but neither Michaela, her daughter, or any of the other missing people have made contact with any family members since. Yeah, that's a pregnant man. That. The missing persons cases aren't the only tragedies linked to this cult. Rashad has been connected to many other crimes. We just never found them. Nearly $800,000. That's the bond set for the man accused of his mother with a samurai sword. <laughs> what? In January of 2022, Damien Winslow Washam, who was only 24 years old at the time, did something he could never take back. He was charged with ending his mother and hurting his uncle and brother in the process. With a katana? Damien, up until this point, had no real prior criminal history aside from a misdemeanor of having marijuana. And Ooh, so he snapped. He'd shown no signs of mental illness. The only red flag? The stuff that he'd been doing on the internet. But Washam says he, he was gooning. He noticed subtle changes over the past four to six weeks. He says his son sold his beloved PlayStation games and started watching strange videos. Damien found Rashad's videos about the University of Cosmic Intelligence and became obsessed with him. He couldn't stop talking about it and even sent links to his sisters to try and convert them. To what is wrong with people, bro? <laughs> Holy shit. Est with Rashad and his teachings, believing everything he said, spending hours staring at the- This is what happens when you smoke weed. Sun and absorbing its energy. He bought thousands of dollars worth of crystals from Rashad's online store. In court, Damien was found not guilty by reason of insanity after several mental health evaluations. I smoke weed, haha. -ha. So you better stop, otherwise you're gonna bust out the samurai sword and it's gonna be over for those around you. However, this verdict couldn't bring his mother back. Shot, I'm telling you, you gotta stop. You might have random psychopathic murderous thoughts. Just eight months after this incident happened, members of the University of Cosmic Intelligence took another life. In September of 2022, two women who were Rashad Jamal's cult followers lured an unsuspecting young couple to an isolated Alabama road. There, they did the unthinkable. My name is Michaela, and if you're watching this- Another Michaela? There's, there's no way. Wait, <laughs> there's no way her name's Michaela too. <laughs> Come on, there's no shot. You're about to watch the story time of the time. Me and my boyfriend, Adam Simji, were robbed, and then how I had to watch my boyfriend be in front of me. Michaela Paulus and her boyfriend, Adam Simji, run a road trip. I wouldn't get murdered in front of my girlfriend because that would give her the ick forever, you know? To then make, just for her to make a YouTube video about the time that I was murdered. Like, are you kidding me? Please, bro, please. <laughs> I am destined for a greater purpose. Trip when they were approached by a cult member named Yasmin Ryder, who at that point was pretending to be a woman stranded on the road. Oh my God, dude. One of these crackheads comes up to me. It's a fucking jab straight right. I'm changing levels, chat. I'm dropping down, hook right to the kidney. I'm coiling, I'm coming back up top cracking them with the left hook. She asked them for jumper cables as her car had broken down. They didn't have any, but decided to try and help anyway. Although a bit suspicious, both Adam and Michaela followed- And then I'm going hawk Followed her to a back road where her car was supposed to be. Adam brought something along with them to protect themselves in case anything went south. And it- She's talking about her boyfriend being murdered in front of her, like, <laughs> like she's describing what she just had for breakfast. That's so true. She said that so nonchalantly. So, I'm gonna tell you the story 
of how we were brutally robbed and my boyfriend was garroted and eviscerated in front of my eyes. Like and subscribe. Did. I say to her, like, is there anything that I can do for you? Can I, like, go tell her? Well, are you okay? How about we start there? Are you good? Uh, do you need help? Do you need psychiatric screening? Have you went to therapy? Are you mourning? Uh, are you grieving the loss of your loved one? A park ranger, can I get you water? Like, can I call somebody? Like, is there anything else that I can do for you? And she, no joke, goes, yeah, there is something you can do for me. You can put your hands up. The situation quickly escalated. Ooh. Ooh. Adam tried to protect himself and Michaela during a standoff, but was injured. Yasmin, along with Crystal Pinkins, who was watching from the woods, immediately fled after everything went down. An investigation by police was able to find out that both Yasmin and Crystal were members of the University of Cosmic Intelligence. Wait, so did he die? Legends, and that they were both living off the grid, secluded in the woods with another group of supposed fellow cult. Dude, <laughs> the least scared people the people that that you should be the least scared of are sun gazers they can't see do you know how easy you could wash them chat they're, they're like the npcs in dark souls you know just staring at the sun they're one hit easy cult members at this point in time rashad remains behind bars but his followers still preach his every word and keep the cult alive while he's serving time exploring internet cults shows us that we have a strong need for belonging but that need can be taken advantage of chat gpt uh script bro especially online where your interactions with other people are unseen the internet is vast so my friends navigate it wisely visual venture out say out wait before you go make Ooh. sure you guys click subscribe here and then click this playlist to watch more dark internet documentaries because our goal is 700,000 subscribers by the end of 2024 thank you guys for bro he's he's killing it he's at 750 wow Great video.